right, you guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you from start to finish on how I made this. There's a few others too, but do you want to know how I made it? Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So this is one of the shirts that I made with this bleaching effect. And yeah, so this one I had made and I also did one without the vinyl and this just, I used a, um, a wooden, it was this like wooden cutout that I just put on top and then just put the, the bleach over it. So it stayed like that. And then the back looks like that. The back of this one looks like this. I just used the long stream and just sprayed some stuff around it just to give it a little bit of curb appeal. Then I made a tank top over here with my one of my merch sayings, which says, inhale the good shit, exhale the bad shit. The back I didn't do on this one, this was one of the first ones and I kind of got a little bit through it. So now I'm gonna just spray a little bit on the back just to add some stuff to it when I do another shirt. And then this one I made as well. And it's the same thing, Hocus Pocus. I need wine to focus. And there is the back. Now, I thought this was going to be super, super easy. I'm not going to lie. I saw a few TikToks. I saw a few YouTube videos. And I thought, okay, I got this. So the very first time I tried this, I deleted all of that footage because... <laughs> <laughs> because it was no good. The first time I tried to use that one cutout, I thought it would be cool to put like some little spiders around it and kind of do a little thing like that, but not all the spiders turned out and I didn't really care for this one as much. So when I did a different one, that's why I just did just this because then I feel like you can use that year round. It doesn't have to just be for this time of year. So either way, the very first time I did it, this was like the only one I could salvage. <laughs> I did like four or five different shirts, some for me, some for gifts. And when I pulled them out of the washer, they literally shredded into shreds. Like they just shredded up and I'm like, what the heck? So I guess I used too much bleach and it ate the clothes. I didn't even know that was a thing, but bleach will eat your clothes. So be careful. One thing none of those videos even told me was do it moderately. Only spray a little or you know what I mean? Or dilute it. They didn't say nothing. They're just like, oh, just use straight bleach. Da, 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 da. So the second time around, I had still like half of my spray bottle still with bleach in it. So I added water in it to dilute like half of it. Then when I did the second round, I kind of did a smaller little light spray, went around to the other ones, went back and did another one. So I wasn't doing it as heavy. Again, my very first time, I wasn't sure what I was doing. So at least my mistakes can be corrected for you. So don't do that. Dilute the, dilute the bleach and do a little bit at a time and just add more if you need to. Don't saturate it all at once. So I just went to the dollar store. I bought a dollar um, shower curtain. So I bought that, laid that down, and then I just put the, sheet, the shirts down. That's where I bought my spray bottles. That's where I bought the bleach. That's where I bought the peroxide. Everything that I ended up getting at the dollar store. Oh, and the little, the little, um, <laughs> the wooden little face thing. I got that there as well. And then there was another one that says like welcome or something. I didn't use that one, but you can use any type of a wooden cutout to use it. So I went and got those few things. So once I found out that I uh, did it wrong, I ordered all new stuff all over again. And then that's when I did like the jogging suits and everything to kind of match. But each product is different. So each brand. So my pants dried like the bleach ended up like a light gray color. It looks amazing, but it doesn't match the shirt that I did that ends up being like this color. And then on one of them, I did a tank top to match. And then the tank top was more, it didn't even go, it was more of like a orangish color. So I had a three piece set and all three were different, completely different bleached colors. So if you're trying to do like a set, make sure you get the same brand. So to be the same type of material, or you might just have to do like one versus the other. So like my pants, I could just wear like a normal gray shirt with it. Um, the shirt, I can just wear normal black pants with it. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing is breaking it up because I didn't know that it was going to discolor based on the type of material per brand. So keep that in mind if you're trying to do like a whole set like I tried. <laughs> 
So I'm going to go ahead and just take you along my little, my little venture and show you how I bleached them and then I washed them. I put them on delicate and then I use my Cricut to do this part and then I pressed it and all that. So if you're interested in seeing exactly how all of this happened, then here you go. Okay, so I laid out the clothes and then I took the little wooden cutouts and just placed them how I wanted them. Got the spray bottle of bleach and are just spraying around so it'll just go around them. And then I went ahead and turned the nozzle so it was a longer stream just to give it a different effect. This one here, I'm gonna do the whole center bleach so I can put the vinyl. So I'm gonna start by the middle by bleaching out the center. And then this one over here, I laid the wooden cutout out just like I did the others and just spraying around it. And then with all of them, I basically started out smaller and I just didn't spray a whole lot just so I can see how it was gonna set. And then I can always go back in and add more. So like this one, it wasn't completely filled in the middle. So after it was done, I went back through and put in some more. And then for these, I just pulled all the things off, turned it over in the back. I'm just gonna do a long stream just to give it a little design on the back of it. On the pants, I'm gonna flip them over, reverse it, set them down, do the same thing. And then these other two are just the back. So I'm just doing the long stream just to give it a little effect on the back of them. Once they were bleached to my liking, I went ahead and sprayed them all with peroxide to stop the bleaching process on the front and the back. And then I tossed them in the washer under delicate cycle. And then now I'm gonna do the vinyl. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Cricut app. And this is the one I'm gonna start with, the Hocus Pocus, I need wine to focus. For some reason, when I tried to erase the background from the app, it's doing something weird I've never seen before. So I had to use a different app to remove the background and then just uploaded it in perfectly instead of doing the editing through my Cricut app, I had to do it in a different app. So now I'm just saving it so it can go in my design space. Now I need to go through and put the exact sizing that I want to put. So it'll go in the circle of the t-shirt. I just measured it out. And then when you do this, you need to make sure that you have it on the mirrored so it flips it when you're doing an iron on. And then now I just need to tell it what type of vinyl I'm putting it on, which this is the everyday iron on. And then now I can go ahead and set it inside my machine and have it start cutting it. And then make sure if it is an iron on, you do flip the vinyl over so you're actually cutting the back side of it. So make sure it is put on the mat upside down. And while the Cricut is cutting my second one, I'm gonna go ahead and take the first vinyl and start cleaning it up and going through and weeding it out to get all of the stuff out that does not need to be there so I can get it ironed on. Once you have the bulk of it done, you can clearly see that you still need to take some out of like the O's and inside of like the decorative font. So now I'm gonna go through and finish weeding this up. Once you have it all weeded, you can just flip it over and make sure you get everything out. You did not miss anything. And then I'll start on the second one. I always start by using a lint roller to make sure everything is off and then I use my press to get it warm first. Then I set down the vinyl to go on, make sure it's where I need it to go and then I press it down. 
I use the 30 second timer and then I'll move it around 30 seconds again, so on and so forth until it's completely done. Then I flip it over and I repeat the process on the back of it. And then after they are cooled, I just pull off the plastic protectant and voila, they are done. After filming them, I wanted to do some more, so I made this one for me because I am Cali grown. My friend wanted one that said that she needed coffee to focus, so I did this one and this following one here for her as a gift, and those are the other ones that I've done. All right, you guys, so that is everything on how I made those clothing items with bleach. It was super, super simple once I learned not to saturate it and to dilute it. <laughs> But it's so cool. Now I'm like thinking in my head now, what else can I do? I just really like this concept, how it's bleached in the middle and then you can put your own verbiage or anything on top. I just really like the way that they came out. I'm very super impressed with that. So I definitely want to keep doing it now that I kind of know what I'm doing. So there you go. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. Comment down below. Let me know what did you think of the items that I made? Have you done this before? Do you now want to? Comment down below and let me know your positive interaction means the world and I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Crafty Crew out.